What's going on, peeps? Julian Williams here at The Distance. Got a video for you guys. This is a prediction for the upcoming battle between Paul Williams and Noble Hero Ashida. Battle takes place on Showtime on, excuse me, February the 18th. Um, not for any championship. Um, it's I think it's going to be the main event of that card, and on the card is going to be Gabriel Campillo versus Tavoris Cloud. So this is this is actually the comeback of Paul Williams. Um, Paul Williams had just um, got that um, fucked up ass decision against Arislan Dilara back in July, July the 9th, and as overall he hasn't been in the ring since. Neither one of them been in the ring since, but you know Paul Williams is now coming back. Personally, I think that either Paul Williams should have made a ch trainer change or just retired. Um, from what I've heard, he's ha he has a lot of money now and and um, pretty much doesn't really have a reason to get back in the ring. You know, he's he's won a championship. You know, he he's been in you know a top fight against Sergio Martinez. Um, was knocked out in the second fight. Has a victory over him in the first fight, December fifth of '09. You know, he's you know facing decent fires over time, but also he's a fire that nobody's going to want to face on down, long down the line. So I just think that, you know, Paul Williams, and only that with his style, he's going to be getting hit a lot. Especially if he goes on, he fa faces bigger punches in the middleweight division. So anyway, with that being said, I don't think that he did make a trainer change. And also he's shown that he will not really change his style up all that much. You know, he's pretty much an offensive fighter. He's not very defensive-minded. He's tall. He's rangy. He has like an 81-inch reach. He's about 6'1", 6'2". And, and the thing with him is is um he's always had trouble guarding himself from the left hand. He's had trouble with the same kind of fighters, fighters that move and bounce around, you know, and use their jab. He's th that kind of fighter that has trouble against those kind of fighters. Um, because especially because he depends highly on his offense and work rate, he throws over a hundred punches around. He's always walking forward. He could, you know, take some take a few punches coming in, and he fights much shorter than he should be fighting. He should be fighting tall. You know, he has that long reach, has a long wingspan. He's taller than the fighters that he fights, and he just he just should be fighting a whole lot differently than he normally does because typically he fights with someone of an amateur style, you know, walks in, throws a hundred punches, and sometimes admire, admires his work and sometimes he doesn't. But against the right kind of fighter, you know, it um it works like against Winky Wright. And a lot and some people thought that Winky Wright had a chance against Williams. I didn't think he had much of a chance just because of the style of where he shells up and then he waits for an opponent to stop punching and Williams has the stamina and the ability to to, to just throw a hundred punches around for 12 rounds in a fight. So now he's facing Nobuhiro, Nobuhiro Ishida, a fighter that just defeated James Kirkland in the first round in the fight back in April on the card of Maidana versus Morales. And this overall, Ishida is, Ishida is not, he's not um, necessarily a bad fighter, a fighter as if his, his record indicates. Of course, he has a big win over James Kirkland he fought Rigoberto Alvarez um, in a fight. I thought she have won by by a couple rounds. And just overall, you know, I just think in another fight that he was in, I saw, you know, it was a it was kind of a close fight, you know, um, against um, I forgot the dude's name, but it's overall um, Nobuhiro Ashida is um is actually quite decent. Um, but from time to time, he he can be in the ring and he and he looks like a sparring partner from in in um some instances in the ring. But overall, in this fight for Ashida, Ashida has shown in in his last few fights that he he works well, you know, coming underneath the jab. He has, you know, he's very um, wiry, you know, very um, skinny arms, and um, he and he can actually um, take punches. In this fight, he's gonna have to try to sneak in the left hook. The left hook is gonna be is gonna be the key to winning this fight for him, due to the fact that Paul Williams has had trouble in the past defending himself from the left hand. Um, we saw that in the Lara fight. Lara continued to land the left hand at will, and move and moved a lot to his right. And and the thing with Ashida is Ashida also in the Kirkland fight has shown that he he knows how to slip in that left hook. So in this particular fight, he's gonna have to slip in the left hook underneath Paul Williams' jab because Paul Williams doesn't throw the jab very authoritatively. He jabs kind of get inside, and sometimes he throws a jab to kind of start something off. But he has to move. But Ashida has to move to his own left. And um, look to land the left hand. Look to you know come underneath Williams' jab with um, a small up jab, 
and use the left hook and you and throw the, the left hook very quick and try to follow it up. And pretty much, you know, other than using the left hook, I'll also look to land in, in between Williams' punches, um, possibly by coming in straight because Williams does like to loop his shots a little bit. So he has to come in straight. He doesn't want to move back against Williams. He wants to pretty much try to try to fight this um use the use um the ring and set up Williams um throughout the fight, whether it be with the left with the left jab, the left hook, or even the right hand, you know, straight punches um on the inside and try to tie up Williams. I mean I think he could very well win this fight. Um on the other side you have Paul Williams. Paul Williams, as I mentioned, I broke down style. In this particular fight, um stamina is gonna be the key aspect of winning stamina and and having um a, a good work rate. One thing that Williams doesn't want to do in this fight is he does not want to come in and wait. If he stands and he waits, then Ashida is going to have a chance to return the punches. Williams is always throwing punches, so in this fight, he's going to have to continuously throw punches. He's going to have to come forward. He's going to have to kind of get um that lead foot in and just um go to the body and um go up top. As I mentioned, you know he's a he's purely an offensive fighter, and also in this fight, he doesn't want to lunge down. If he lunges down, then especially with Ashida's style. There could be a possibility that there's a headbutt, being that Williams is a right-handed southpaw and Ashida is, is, um, is a right-handed fighter. And, of course, you're going to have, you know, the orthodox versus um, southpaw type thing to where, you know, they, the, the heads clash from time to time. But in this particular fight, I just think that, I just think that Williams needs to go in and he's a, he just needs to, he, first off, he wants to get rounds in. And second off, he wants to he wants to go in. He wants to um, throw punches and um and just work throughout the fight. Whether he goes to the body, whether he, whether he's a headhunter in this fight, he wants to pretty much go in. and He wants to throw punches and continue to throw combinations. Go in one hundred punches around. Ashida does give you that opportunity to throw one hundred punches around. Most of the time, he's not thinking defense himself because you see in the Kirkland fight, Kirkland was able to land was able to land shots on him. So Williams, what he wants to do is just continuously work, continuously walk forward, throw punches, um, cut him off. You know, and it's kind of easy to cut cut off Ashida due to the fact that he's very flat footed, and and just um use the reach to his advantage, get that get his um shot in, um before um Ashida is able to able to throw, and also jab his way inside. If he's able to jab in, then he's kind of cutting off the um, he's cutting off of cutting off of um Ashida's range because Ashida likes to likes to the fight at that mid range. And if Williams could come in close, then Williams um and Williams does, you know, shorten up his punches quite well inside when he's um most of the time when he's going to the body, but when he's going up top not so not so short. But if he can go, you know, jab his way inside and go to the body and come up top a few times, I think he could very well win this fight just by outworking Ashida. Um so going into this fight I had a little bit of trouble um predicting the outcome of this fight. Ashida has shown that you know he can take punishment, but only to um, give punishment back. Um, of course, you know, you know his record indicates that he's not a big puncher, but we don't really know that just yet. Um, another, another um, hand, you have Paul Williams who can take a punch, but also he's not a big puncher himself. But over the long haul, I'd like to say Ashida will win this fight, but I think that Paul Williams is, is going to end up getting a nod if Ashida doesn't knock him out. Ashida should go for the knockout in this fight, um, but it's going to be a little bit difficult if Williams stands tall and fights tall. And Williams does like to fight short, and he's going to be hit with a few left hands from Ashida. But overall, I think Williams is going to come, come and he's going to work. He doesn't admire his work way too, you know, way too much. He doesn't stand and wait all too much. But I wouldn't be. it's another case where I wouldn't be surprised if Ashida won the fight. Um, just based on how Williams looked in the last fight, but also Ashida is an orthodox fighter, and Williams has been fighting southpaws who have been kind of you know outmaneuvering him a little bit or movers, and Ashida is not much of a mover. He's shown that he can be driven back very easily. So I'm gonna go with Paul Williams by a decision. So anyway, peeps, I'm out of here. That was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.